Hello and welcome. My name is Victoria Murray and I am a teacher artist with the San Benito County Arts Council. Schools are closed, but that's okay because we are bringing art classes directly to you. Today, we will be creating a collage work based on the Australian artist, Pete Cromer. Pete Cromer is most famous for his artworks depicting birds, flowers, and other things found in nature. You can find him at Pete Cromer on Instagram. I am looking forward to creating a fun and colorful artwork with you. Please grab your materials and join in. Today we will be making a bird inspired by Pete Cromer's famous collage works. You will need three sheets of paper, a pencil, scissors, glue, crayons, and if available, watercolor paints. Let's begin by drawing the body of our bird. Please remember that this is about expression and not perfection. Be creative and have fun with it. Step number two, draw the beak of your bird. Keep everything separate because at the end we will be cutting these shapes out. Next, we will draw two circles to represent the bird's eye. The second will be slightly smaller than the first. Next, we are going to draw the feathers atop the bird's head. Three or four teardrop shapes should be good. But if you would like to add more feathers, you are welcome to. All right, let's move on to our next sheet of paper. On this page, we are going to draw the bird's wing. The bird's wing should resemble the shape of an F, but with three small bumps. Next, we are going to draw a circle, which will represent the bird's cheek. We are also going to draw a semicircle. Next, we are just going to draw some fun shapes, which we will use to decorate our bird. I'm going to draw a triangle and a few small circles and some teardrop shapes. Keep it up, you're doing a great job. Next, we are going to color our bird. Using any color you like, color the bird's body. I'm going to use purple. You do not need to color in the lines because we will be cutting these shapes out. I'd like my color to be more vibrant so I'm going to add some red. This circle we will keep white and this circle we will color black. Okay, moving on to the next sheet. Again, you may color these any color you like.
All right, almost there. Finish coloring in the shapes with colors of your choosing. Once you have finished coloring with your crayons, you're welcome to add watercolor paints on top. I think that's good for now. Now it's time to start cutting out our shapes. Let's begin constructing our bird. We will begin with the bird's body.
With the rest of these shapes, you can put them anywhere you like to decorate your bird. And there you have it, a Pete Cromer inspired collage bird. Don't forget to sign your masterpiece at the end. Hey there, thanks for joining in today. I hope you had as much fun as I did. I look forward to seeing all my students once again, but until then, remember, take care, stay healthy, have fun, and most importantly, make art. See you again soon. Bye.